What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. Today, we're hopping in the Wagoneer and we're heading down to Daytona for Daytona Bike Week 2023. We're taking my dad's Jeep Wagoneer because it's a nice comfy ride and it pulls the trailer no problem. This thing has the 5.7 Hemi in it and uh, it's a more comfortable ride to drive 20 hours down to Daytona. So, we got the truck and trailer loaded up. We'll get ready to hit the road here. Show you guys inside here how we have the bikes laid out. So we got my mom's road glide here under the cover. We got my dad's road glide here. And then we got mine here. And we're tied down and ready to hit the road. Shout out to Total Performance Graphics for hooking it up on the new wrap for the back door here. It turned out killer. We got our sponsors over here. We got my YouTube channel logo over here. Truck and trailer looking mint. Ready to head down to Daytona for bike. beautiful morning we have here in Daytona Beach Florida guys we got the bikes unloaded from the trailer no issues whatsoever all the bikes made it down here safe we got my mom's 22 road glide here we got my dad's 2020 road glide here and of course we have my ground pounder right here but yeah it's a beautiful day here in sunny Florida we're gonna hop on the bikes and go do some riding I'll pick up the camera throughout the day we're gonna kick off day one of Daytona bike week 2023 let's get it all right guys so we just stopped at Ford's garage to get a bite to eat all the bikes are looking good, all clean. Beautiful weather here today in Daytona. It's like high at 87, so super hot out here. But we're getting some good riding in. We're gonna go in here, get some food at Ford's Garage. Guys, check out this performance bagger that just pulled up. It's in snake venom. Baja Designs headlight, Clockworks windshield. Look at that carbon front fender. It's got the inverted Olin's forks carbon fiber BST wheels and this guy's got tons of money into this bike I wonder what size the motor is nice HPI pipe Brembo brakes carbon fiber bags Olin's in the rear saddleman seat oh he's got moonshine on the gauges here I wonder if moonshine built it shorty clutch lever same grips as me really sharp sharp looking bike here chain drive nice piece for sure all right guys so i just want to give you a quick review on the new thrash and t-bar so far so good i absolutely love how they feel the bike feels totally different much better 10 out of 10 recommend the rider position is just way more comfortable i can still rip wheelies with them and overall just the fit and finish of the thrash and stuff is really nice so as you can see here i mounted my shift light underneath my radio and uh, yeah, I am super stoked on the Thrashing T-Bar. So if you guys are in the market and don't really want to spend the money on the T-Bar setup, I'm here to tell you it's worth the money, guys. I've had three sets of bars on this bike so far, and these by far are the best and most comfortable bars I've ever put on the bike. All right, guys, so we just pulled up here to JMP Cycles. I'm at the Clockworks booth. Got the Road Glide sitting here, of course. Got the nice six inch flare Clockworks on the Road Glide. But yeah, I'm gonna be parked here all day, passing out some stickers. If you guys are down here, make sure you come and say hi. I'd like to meet you guys. But yeah, I'm gonna be parked up at the Clockworks booth all day here today for day one of Daytona Bike Week. We've got d, &D exhaust over here. We've got Buell motorcycles over here set up, nice display. 
We got my professional drone pilot right here, Mr. John Corey, in the house. D and D, and we have Olin's. Nice performance bagger sitting up on the lift right now. More bikes over here. We got Trask back here. Sometimes I wonder if I should have just spent five grand and put a turbo on my bike to make 200 horsepower. components over here check out their road king guys real nice unit right here hey John what are you doing today oh, man I'm so tired of riding around with that stock exhaust we here at D&D &D today we're getting the two into one exhaust you'll hear me coming now baby that's it we got a sinister sound over here, the fairing exchange over here. It's pretty cool what they do. You can ride your bike up and they will color match your inner fairing and install it for you free of charge. Good looking road glide here. What a packed first day of bike week, guys. I gotta say, this is the most packed I've seen it on the first day, which is Friday. Uh, this is the most packed I've seen it in the last three years and I think it's just because of the weather. The weather this year has just been great. It's super hot out here. It's 87 degrees now, and it's just absolutely gorgeous out here, guys. John's getting his new D&D &D 2 into one billet cat installed. Check this performance bagger out, guys. It's got a Trash Turbo kit on it. The paint job is insane. All carbon fiber. It's got the Olin's. Mid controls, check those out. Bad ass setup here. The only thing I don't like is the speedo. It totally blocks the screen. But other than that, inverted Olens. It's pretty sick. All right, guys. So I just got down here to Main Street for the first night of Bike Week 2023, and uh, I must say it is jam packed full of bikes. Parked here with my boy John underneath a nice palm tree. Beautiful night. It's literally like 83 degrees out here right now and I'm gonna take you guys down Main Street and show you guys all the action. All right guys, so we just got back to the hotel. Super busy day. What a great first day of bike week. The 128's running really good down here in Florida. Absolutely love the new Thrash and T-Bar setup, guys. 
like I mentioned earlier in the video, like this is probably the best thing I've ever done to the bike was spend the money and put those thrashing T-bars on this bike. Like it rides 10 times better, guys. I love it. I also ran into a fellow YouTuber tonight, Mr. Official Mac. We met downtown Main Street. I'll put up a picture here. Uh, we talked about the race and we had a good conversation. He looked over my bike. I looked over his bike. Uh, we're going to get this race off here in the next couple days. Yeah, super stoked about that. Both him and I are excited to run each other and claim the fastest YouTuber. Uh, it's going to be a good one, guys. You're not going to want to miss it, so stay tuned for that video. It will be dropping here in the next couple days. Not sure what day I'm going to race him yet, but I'll keep you guys posted both here on YouTube and on Instagram. So make sure you guys, if you haven't followed me yet, follow me on Instagram at Do Work Motorsports, and I will post all the race updates on that. But uh, anyway, it's late. We haven't slept. We drove straight through from Michigan to Daytona. It took us about 22 hours with all the stops and food and fuel stops and whatnot. Um, but yeah, we're super tired we're getting ready to go in and go to bed for the night i'll pick the camera back up tomorrow for day two of bike week and i'll see you then if you liked the video make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel make sure you smash that subscribe button as always guys thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace